Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today's setting is slightly different. I'm doing an um, unboxing of the DF64V in my cafe. And uh, this grinder has arrived uh, quite some time ago. I just wouldn't have the time to actually uh, open it and see how it goes. And today I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. Um, give you my opinion on how the grinder is built, the quality and then uh, the different parts and then I'll do more testing as uh, um, and, and see how the variable RPM will actually affect the taste of the uh, both espresso as well as for the filter coffee. I'm particularly interested in the taste of the um, filter coffee affected by the variable RPM. Right? So without further ado, let's do the unboxing and then um, I'll give you my feedback and then uh, let's move on from there. Let's do the uh, unboxing right now. The box is now green color. Right, comes with uh, as usual the instruction manuals, variable speed or purpose grinder. Um, by the way, I think this uh, Berg comes standard with DLC. Oh, the grinder is actually very small. Okay, let's take out the grinder and have a look. It's really very small. Okay, I will bring out my DF64 and uh, do a side by side comparison, and then you can see the difference in size. Right, so basically, wow, the finishing is really fantastic. It's a bit too smooth for me to do the adjustment. There is a dial indicator. Okay, this is all this, I think, the anti popcorn. Mm, I don't think it's many times. Right. Let me take a look at the bro inside. Um, doesn't look like DLC to me, but let's just take it out and see. So there's a bearing. Ah yes, that's the DLC bird. Right, this is definitely the DLC bird. Right, um, as compared to um, the stainless, the um, stock Itami from DF64, uh, this feel a lot more premium. As you can see, the quality of the birds. There's no more spring. Basically, you just place the three prong in the position and then there you go press it down slightly and then you can actually turn it go oh, it's pretty smooth right, this is really very smooth
there's a grub screw at the side here for you to adjust the grind indicator. All right, let me bring it closer. All right, as you can see, this is the metal grind indicator. And at the back, okay, let's see whether my camera can focus. All right, at this position. All right, you can see here, this is a position for you to adjust the grub screw. So they can readjust the grind indicator. Um, by the way, the uh, on-off button is at the side, right? The wire is now switched to the to the back. Okay, let me go and grab my DF64 and then place it side by side, and then you can see the difference in size. Right? Can you see the size difference here? The diameter is at least 40% smaller and the body is also very slim no longer the um, car vinyl wrap right now this is anodized aluminum right this is still the uh, plastic vinyl wrap vinyl wrap sorry right um, let me see what other accessories comes with the grinder Of course, it comes with a magnetized exit chute. That's pretty neat. Or it comes with a squirt bottle for you to do your RDT. It comes with an Allen key. I believe this is for you to adjust the grub screw, which controls, um, which re which allows you to readjust your grind indicator. Comes with a dosing cup. Okay, let's see whether this is the 58 mm. Nope. Okay, now this is smaller than the standard 58 so the whole container actually goes inside your polar filter right as compared to the DF64V RTF64 original version the plastic one it stays on top of your polar filter right so now this is slightly smaller It does come with some sort of a raised stand, which is, uh, I believe, in, in some of the wood material. Right, which allows you to put there. And I think this is where your cup is going to stand. <laughs> it's very cute. Right now, it comes with a tiny bellow. Right, you can you see the difference in size. Right, this is the DF64. This is the DF64V. Right, the size reduction is humongous. Right. Okay, the lid is uh, made in some sort of wood material. I'm not too sure what kind of wood. Right, and fits nicely on top. Okay, I don't really feel any air coming out. Oh, yes, there's air, right? So when I pump, I can feel the air coming out from the mouth. Right, I think, and, uh, ah, okay, there's an upper and lower shoot. Right, so lower shoot and upper shoot. Oh, it's pretty neat, right? So now you can see the whole thing can be done separately, right? You can actually look at how the coffee comes out, right? And if you want to service it, you can actually take out the whole thing. And uh, both have, uh, I think, Neodonium and X inside, so these are pretty strong. Right? The entire grinder feels very really, uh, well made. Um, very smooth. Right? Okay, maybe uh, let's, let's see whether we can find the zero point. 
and then uh, readjust the grind indicator and if I can let's grind some coffee okay so I've already um, taken out the topper and now if you see how why there's no spring um, to adjust the grind setting because now you can see that there's this wavy spring here which is used to um, compress so that you can just adjust the grind setting uh, this is this design is very similar to the DS64 uh, sorry the RF64W uh, when I open up the RF64W this is the same way at which the grind adjustment is actually done right uh, the burrow is indeed very beautiful right so I'm going to switch on the grinder and change the RPM and let you hear the sound so I'll turn the grinder to you so you can see it better right so you can see the RPM adjustment is here I'm going to bring you closer to see how the RPM changes the speed of the grinder right so now I'm going to turn on you can see that now the RPM is at 600 the grind is pretty slow okay clockwise to increase the speed 800 now right it's a very quiet grinder 1000 um, I believe the highest is actually a thousand eight Yep, it's 1000 RPM. So even at full 1000 RPM, the grinder is very quiet. You don't feel the vibration from the grinder at all. Right? So let's now put the grinder back and we will try to find the zero point and then we will start to grind some coffee. So to assemble back the grinder, it's very simple. Right? You can see that there's this three prong. Right. right, make sure it's seated well. You can see that it can be compressed. Right, it can be compressed now. The screwing of the grind adjustment ring is very very easy, very smooth. So let's reduce the uh, RPM. Turn on the grinder. Right, you can hear, you can see that the grinder is actually turning. Let's adjust this top one. Ah, okay. Can you hear that? The birds are touching. It's very gentle because I switched the grinder to the lowest RPM. Right? Can you hear that? That is our zero point. Let's turn off the grinder. And then now we can put back the grind indicator. Right, let me get the Allen key. Make sure that now your grind indicator is pointing at zero. And then you lock up the. Okay, so now it is at zero. So now if I do the adjustment, I can see where the grind adjustment is. Okay, let's put it at 15 and see how the grind is. Right, I have uh, pre grinded about 18 grams of coffee.
This is grinding at 600 RPM. Okay, I would say that the bellow works quite well. Okay, it's a bit too dark here. Okay, but uh, I would say that the grinding is very fine. This is definitely very fine. If I pull this with espresso, it will definitely choke. So let me measure another ingram, and then we see the input and output whether it's um, close to zero. Right. So let's now measure 18 grams of coffee. By the way, these are pretty dark rolls from Colombian. It makes really good latte. Eighteen point one grams of coffee. Right, the scale I'm using is actually the uh, Felicita Arc. All right, so um, just now when I grinded at uh, a grind setting of fifteen, the coffee is almost powder-like, which is I believe is too fine. So now let's increase the grind size to about 20. Remember, the adjustment now is no longer turning the uh, color. It's turning this uh, shoot here. So let's adjust to 20. I wish that this is uh, more of a matte finish rather than uh, a smooth finish. But I guess I can insert a ring here, like a rubber ring. Then it will allow me to turn this uh, much better. Right? It just give me a more tactile feeling. Right? Now it's a bit too smooth, but doesn't doesn't really affect it. I just have to grip harder so that I can get to the grind size that I want. Right now, this is 18.1, so let's see how it goes. I'm still grinding at the grind setting of 600 RPM. The moment I hit grind, uh, the grinding will start immediately. Alright, it's almost done. Let's bellow. Alright, you can see that the surrounding is still pretty clean. Let's turn off the grinder. Don't forget to off your grinder, by the way, because you can't really hear the grinder at all, right? Oh, 18 grams, my goodness. This is really close to as good as you get, right? Uh, 18 grams in and 18 grams out. Right, I'm not too sure what is the declumper or what's the declump is any declumping situation inside. That one I'll probably have to open up the grinder and see. Right. Uh let's grind the same thing at 1000 RPM and see whether the sound actually elevates a lot. And let's see whether the static issue will be worsened. Right. But this is definitely good for espresso. Right. Right, so now let's measure and down eating grams. Eighteen gram exactly. Right, you can see on the scale. So now let's ramp up the RPM to the maximum. Open the hopper, the bellow, sorry. Turn it on. Let me move the grinder slightly back so that it gives you a better view. Wow, that's loud. But the grinding is a lot faster. Oh, it is very louder, but it grinds really fast. Okay, let's check the uh, the weight. Okay, 17.8 grams of uh, coffee coming out from there. Right, let's bellow a little bit harder. Open the chute to check. It's clean. 
18.0. So if I balance a bit more, you can see that I'm still getting zero retention. So um, the grind, the grinding at 1,000 RPM, I think almost takes at the most maybe three to four seconds, right? So if you want it fast, uh, you have to accept the fact that uh, you'll be louder, right? On the whole, I think the grinder is very well made. Um, the motor at 1,000 RP, uh, RPM is still grinding fast enough, even though it's a little bit loud, right? Um, but my first experience with the grinder has been very pleased, very pleasing. Uh, the entire grinder just feel very premium in terms of build. I'm really surprised by how small the grinder is, and they are able to fit a 64mm bur, uh, and it's even better. Now it's no longer titanium coated. Uh, Itamio, it is actually DLC bur, so it's even better now, right? So at a price below $800, I don't think there's anything in the market that can fight this grinder at the moment for flat bur, right? So, well done, DF64. Right, so as you can see, um, the grinder is really well built. Uh, I'm, I'm actually quite, I actually like the grinder a lot. Um, it's using the spring that's uh, similar on the RS64W, which is something I'm familiar with. I think it's definitely better than the three spring as compared to the DF64, right? It is just a lot more stable in terms of uh, a wobbling, you know, when you try to press a spring, or uh, if there's a three spring situation, it actually causes it to wobble on one side. But now with the entire wavy ring uh, as a spring, it just gives you a much better uh, control to your grind. The grinding, the grind adjustment ring is great. It is very easy to adjust. It is very easy to find the zero point. Um, the magnetic shoot on the grinder to clean it is excellent idea. The RPM control, if you want quiet, let's say you are in the early morning, you don't want to wake up your family when you grind your coffee beans, the, you can grind at 600 RPM, which is very, very quiet. Uh, it doesn't produce much sound. Uh, I don't have a decibel um, no, mo um, um, monitor or decibel receiver to check the decibel of the uh, noise they produce, but uh, at 1008, the, the, the pitch is a little bit high. Um, but uh, if you if you want it fast, you have to accept the fact that it is it's going to be slightly noisy, right? So this is yours again. It has been some time that I uh, made my last video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, simple unboxing and then first use, right? First use has been quite positive, right? So stay tuned for more updates on the follow up of this grinder, right? So thank you for watching. This is CY once again. Um, we do everything about coffee and um, we want to have fun doing it. So far, I'm enjoying my my uh, my business with coffee so far right so uh, it has been great and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you the next time